Greetings, hobby friends. King NASCAR here. Hope everybody's doing well out there. While I was gone to the National, a package came for me. And uh, it was a package of MEM cards and autograph cards that I had bought as a lot off of eBay. My friend Steve, he alerted me to this lot and it, I ended up winning it. Um, I've paid less than three dollars a hit for these cards and uh in my opinion i think it's a pretty good lot of cards like i said there's i think like i think i counted 67 cards total in this lot but the majority of them i think about two-thirds of them are are the um, are autograph cards and the rest of them are mem cards but anyway i want to show you what what i ended up picking up and they're, uh, they're, like I said, they're really, really nice. So let's start out real quick with the memorabilia cards. And here's the very first one. It's a Bobby Allison Racing Artifacts from, I think this is from Legends. It's a numbered card. And it is number 142 of 150. So these cards, like I said, I, I really was pleased to get this lot of cards. The next one's another Hall of Famer. It's Buddy Baker, and this is from, I think, this is like 2005 Legends, I believe. And it's also numbered, it's number 180 of 399. So, really nice piece of fire suit there. Next, I got a Clint Boyer Dual Sheet Metal and Tire from Press Pass. It says it's a 2006 Rookie Contender, it's number 20 of 50. So that's uh, that's really a, a nice card. Now I'm not the biggest Clint Boyer fan, but uh, still a pretty cool card. Then I got this battle armor of Kurt Busch. Like I said, a lot of these are press pass cards, but it's numbered. It's number 140 of 150. And then I got a second one of those in this lot, and it's also out of 150. It's number 86 of 150. So, these are nice. This came out of Stealth. And, I don't know if you've noticed, my voice is still a little messed up from COVID. Um, that may be the worst pickup of the National that I've ever gotten. Although, maybe V-Friends could be worse a worse pickup than COVID. <laughs> I don't know. But, uh, the next card is a Kurt Busch Driver Series Hot Threads, number 9 of 220. And Janet Guthrie, she's a legend. This is a piece of pieces of history, and it's number 13 of 75. So I like Janet Guthrie with her Kelly Girl car, the green car. Then here's a dual double burner, number seven of 100. It's Denny Hamlin. It's got a Ratio's glove and Ratio's fire suit. So that's nice. And it's so purpley. Yes. It's got, got some purple action going on there. Next, we've got Jimmy Johnson Burning Rubber, number 65 of 250. So go Jimmy. And this is from Indianapolis, too. So uh, even better. And we've got Casey Kane. This is some, another Burning Rubber. It's number 191 of 250. He's telling everybody that he is number one. And we've got another Casey Kane. This is a dual mem card. It says, it says it's a double burner. It's number 30 of 50. You've got the ratios tire and ratio sheet metal. We've got Matt Kenseth. And it's got a dual color sheet metal. I like that. It's got some shininess going on there. I like shiny. I know you like shiny. It's got a tire and sheet metal. That's one thing I do like about what Press Pass did. They used to tell you, you know, what you were getting on there. And I really would like to see Panini kind of go to that model as well. Then here's a Bobby Labonte. And it's another double burner. It's number 33 of 100. I think 33 was his uh, car number in the Bush series, if I'm not mistaken. But this is a really nice patch with that interstate batteries. 
I really like that. Was that three at least three colors right there? And then we've got a hashtag skid marks, which really it's not skid marks, it's burnouts. <laughs> Jeremy Mayfield race used tire. I like old cousin Jeremy. I think he got a bad rap. And we've got Paul Menard geared up. And this is number 30 of 50. And look how thick this card is, man. That thing is like super, super thick. But it is dual color ratio sheet metal. So very nice. And then we got another Paul Menard. I've got two. And they're the same, the same type of card. This one is number 14 of 25. It's a burning rubber. Here's another burning rubber out of 99, and it is 88 of 99. So they're the same, but different. And then we, here we go. Now we've got some Thunder Road slash skid marks here. That's yeah, Juan Pablo Montoya. And we've got Ryan Newman. And this is a driver worn shirt number 13 of 99 and here we got some gear gripper gloves and this is also from ryan newman it's number 98 of 99 that's neat that's one thing press pass did a lot of they they, they did all kinds of things uh you know windshields you know just you name it uh, this is probably one of the better mem cards that i got it is Richard Petty from National Treasures. And it is numbered. It is number 13 of 20. And we've got the Dayglow Richard Petty orange red color. So I like that card a lot. That card's pretty, boy. Ah, uh, yeah. Then we've got David Rudiman. I mean, you know, at least he's won some cu a cup race. And it's sheet metal and tire, and it's a dual color sheet metal. Then we've got Tony Stewart, and it's another one of those driver worn shirts. It's number 95 of 99. So go, Tony. That's a good one. A lot of Hall of Famers in here, as you can tell. That's one of the things I really like about this. Then we've got Martin Tricks Jr., future Hall of Famer for sure. And this is a burning rubber, number 109 of 175. And lastly, we've got another Martin Trex Jr. And this is a Sunday Swatches. It's a race use fire suit and race use sheet metal. Number 186 of 199. So some really nice mem cards right there. So let's look at it in all its glory. Oh, can't even, I can't even do that. My voice is so messed up. But uh, pretty cool. So now I'm going to... Lay some autographs on top of these. Uh, starting out, Hall of Famer, Bobby Allison. This is a 2008 Press Pass signings. And I don't think it's numbered. No, it's not numbered. But it is Bobby Allison, and he is in the NASCAR Hall of Fame. And we got another Bobby Allison. And this one is from Press Pass. I'm not sure what year this is it is I can't tell because my eyes are not that good but uh, I love that card I love that that picture he did a great job with the auto in fact I tell you what I'm gonna stack the same ones on top of each other same drivers I think we've got John Andretti press pass auto that's a nice one. And then we have another John Andretti as well. That is from Wheels. So those are really nice. I always did like John Andretti. And here is a, yet again another John Andretti from it's a Press Pass Signings. So pretty sweet. Then here's a really good Andretti that uh, you're really going to like. It is Mario. It's a me, Mario. Yep, it's Mario. I like Mario. Yeah, I do too. And this is number 12 of 25. And it's got some shininess action going on there. 
So that's really, really nice. That's one, one of the cards that was in the pictures. That's one of the things that gravitated me towards picking this lot up. Then we've got Casey Atwood. I like old Casey. He's a like a Nashville boy. I think he got a bad rap. Uh, I know his career didn't go the way he wanted it. I really was expecting big things from him. I know he was expecting big things from himself. It just never worked out. But that's a nice wheels autograph. And we've got Buddy Baker. It's another press pass autograph, press pass signings. Buddy Baker. I like that. I like that pose. That's a neat one. And we got another Buddy Baker. Hall NASCAR Hall of Famer. This is a NASCAR Legends press pass. And see what does it say? Press pass. Buddy Baker press pass. I guess it says autograph 2003, I believe, is what that is. And he was just a young pup right there. It's waving out the car going, uh, I love driving race cars. And then here's another Buddy Baker. Got quite a few Buddy Bakers. I like this one. This is number 303 of 650. It says authentic press pass autograph. And then yet another Buddy Baker. I'm about to make another row. Got several Buddy Bakers. I, I like this one. He's, he's all dressed up. Uh, I guess he's doing some... Uh, commentary work but this is a wheels authentic autograph and i don't think it's numbered no it's not numbered that's uh that one's really nice and believe it or not we've got one more buddy baker autograph it's a 2007 press pass signings and buddy baker always did a great job with his autographs we val and i met him a couple times at the nascar hall of fame and he was always super nice and I, you know, I do miss him. Then we've got, well, here, we've got some shininess going on here. We've got Jeb Burton. This is the 2016 press, I mean, excuse me, 2016 Panini Prism Auto. And it's number 21 of 24. I like, I love the rainbow cards out of there. I think they're just very, very shiny and very, very nice looking. Then we've got Ward Burton. So go Ward Burton, like that. Daytona 500 winner, champion. And then here's a Hall of Famer, a National Treasures of Richard Childress. And that was numbered. That is number. And go figure. It's number three of ten. Now is that not cool? What? That's the first time I even noticed that. So that is uh, his primary car number. So very very nice. I'm digging that one. Then we got Jennifer Jo Cobb from Element. That's a wheels product. It's got an inscription and it's number 73 of 125. Then we've got Red Farmer, Hall of Famer. That's from Press Pass Legends. It's a nice looking card. He looks so cool with his glasses. And we've got Emerson Fittipaldi. So he's a kind of a crossover from Indy to NASCAR. That was nice. That's another nice wheels auto. Then we've got Larry Foyt. Uh, he just never really panned out driving, but I think he's running uh, AJ Foyt's racing team right now. So that's pretty good. So there's Larry Foyt. Then we've got Matt Kenseth next. He's got a little bit of shininess going on. And that's number 30 of 189. So go Matt Kenseth with his purple, his purple fire suit. And here's another Hall of Famer. I, I really like this one. This is a National Treasures, Chad Knauss. And you can't go wrong with this guy. It's number five of seven. Now tell me that's not a cool auto right there. I mean, this guy, love him or hate him, he is a genius, without a doubt. Then we've got a, I think this is the only Mem Auto that I got. It's Bobby Labonte. It's a Mem Auto, and this is a uh, race used tire. And it's the Press Pass Signature Series. And then we got his brother, Terry Labonte, from Wheels. Nice auto. 
And yet another Terry Labonte. And that's from Press Pass. That's a Press Pass autograph 2005, I believe. So very nice. Then we got Bill Lester. I like old Bill Lester. Driving in the trucks. Number 22. Got a little inscription going on there. Here's one of my heroes right here coming up next. It's going to be the Golden Boy, Fearless Freddie Lorenzen. And unfortunately now he has dementia and I don't think he is actually signing anything, which is really making me very, very sad. But uh, I actually had the opportunity to go to his house twice and talk with him and see his trophy room and uh, hang out for a little bit. And uh, that was pretty awesome. And it's number 386 of 700. So I love, love me some Fred Lorenzen. And we've got uh, fan favorite, Dave Marcus. This is uh, number 12 of 150. I like that card. That is from Press Pass. That's Legends. And we got another Dave Marcus. We got a, yeah, it's, yeah, I got two Dave Marcuses. This is number 142 of 199. This is another Legends Auto. He is definitely a legend, especially with his wingtip shoes. Then we've got Mike McLaughlin. I really wish he would have had a better career in Cup. But, uh, again, it just didn't pan out for him. But that's a nice autograph from Wheels. And we've got Paul Menard, who is now retired. That's a gold auto, because you know what? We love gold! And it's number... 41 of 50. It's hand numbered. So that is really nice. Brickyard 400 winner. Then we've got Chocolate Myers, Gas Man for Dale Earnhardt and Richard Childress. You see he's got the little three on there. It's number four of 99. Barely missed the car number. So that one's uh, that was pretty special. We got Ted Musgrave. Wish his career had panned out a little better. I, I actually got to talk to him a couple times. He was in Nashville once, and I got to talk to him for a little bit. But that's a Wheels Auto of Ted Musgrave. Then we've got Jerry Nadu. I like the old Jerry Nadu. I really, again, a lot of these drivers, I really wish their careers had gone just a little bit better for them. But uh, that one's not numbered at all. So we'll just kind of, I'm going to stick it down here. And now here's one of my favorite drivers. He's a Chicago boy, Illinois boy. Tiger Tom, Tiger Tom, Tiger Tom Pistoni. I believe that's how you pronounce his name. And it's from Legends. It's number three of 50. Very nice. And I also got another Tiger Tom. And it's from the same, same series, but this one's number 14 of 200. So go Tiger Tom. And yet again, another Tiger Tom. And this one is out of 200. So number 143 of 200. So got, got a few Tiger Toms. Glad to have those. Because I don't know how he's doing these days. He used to be on Facebook quite a bit. And uh, I haven't seen him in a while. And one more Tiger Tom. This is number 5 of 25. It's another Press Pass signature style. And I, and I really like that. It's in red. So very, very nice. And then we've got a NASCAR legend coming up, Jim Reed. And that's from Legends. And it's number 188 of 250. I like Jim Reed. I can't remember how many races he won. It wasn't very many. I don't know, I'm thinking six, but that may not be right. But uh, here's another Hall of Famer, Bruton Smith. This is from National Treasures. It is number three of 25. It's got Dale Earnhardt's number. So, pretty cool having Bruton. And here's a dual auto. I really like this one a lot. It's Greg Zipidelli and Tony Stewart. Number 33 of 45. And I think Tony Stewart, he also ran the 33, I believe, at one time in the Xfinity slash Bush series. All right, we've got just a couple more to go, I think got Brian Vickers and Scott Speed. Scott Speed, he, he drove Formula 1 for a little bit. And, of course, we know that 
unfortunately, Brian Vickers had some health issues. But this is number 39 of 45. And then we've got one, actually two more autos. We've got Michael Waltrip, two-time Daytona 500 champion. That is a press pass uh, autographs card. I like the way that looks. I like how they got the Sharpie in their hand and uh, looks like they're kind of signing that. That's uh, pretty creative in my opinion. And then lastly, bringing up the rear, Greg Zipidelli. And this is another Press Pass signings autograph. It's not numbered, but uh, he's a great crew chief. And uh, he could possibly end up in the Hall of Fame one day. You never know. Zippy. So, that's the lot of cards that I've, I got from eBay. Really proud to get them. Uh, when you think about it, that's like less, that's actually less than four 2024 Donruss Mega Boxes. And I got 67 cards versus I would get eight out of those. So this was a heck of a deal, getting, especially getting a lot of Hall of Famers. So um, hope you like it. Hit that like button. Uh, subscribe, that'd be cool. Hit the subscribe. And uh, from Cardle and myself. Y'all take care, and we will check you later.